Welcome, in this video we will see River. Before WPA was implemented, WEP ruled wireless encryption, any network could be cracked easily. But when WPA became the standard, it became much harder to do and using the dictionary attack method was the only real option. Reaver works by a flaw found in routers called WPS or Wi-Fi protected setup. WPS make it easy for wireless devices to find and connect to a router. The problem with WPS is it has a flaw in it that lets the encryption be bypassed. If a router has WPS enabled then cracking the encryption is no longer necessary. WPS uses pin number that are not encrypted. Reaver starts by running through the pin numbers until it is found. Once it is found, it will display the password. If a router has WPS enabled, it can usually be cracked in 2 to 10 hours. Wi-Fi protected setup or WPS, it's a feature that exists on many routers intended to provide any easy setup process and it is tied to a pin that is hard coded into device. Reaver exploit a flaw in these pins and the result is that with enough time it can reveal your WPA or WPA2 password. Reaver does not attempt to take on the WPA encryption itself but goes around using WPS and then displaying the password. As with other attacks, there are some problems with this such as signal strength, a strong signal is almost a must. Also some routers can crash if too many pins get thrown at it quickly. Much like a denial of service attack can crash a PC. Also WPS must be enabled on the router. Reaver has many options or switches it can use to deal with these problems. The example I will be using is a basic one. There are many more commands to use with Reaver. We can see them all by typing Reaver. Set up a test router to WPA or WPA2 and give it a password. Enable WPS if it is not already and connect it to wirelessly with a separate device simulating a real environment. First thing we need to do is enable the wireless USB adapter. Start Kali Linux and open a terminal window. Run the command aeromon ng to see if Kali recognizes your wireless USB adapter. It should show VLAN 0 along with the chipset. If it doesn't, then some troubleshooting will have to be done until it does. Once the wireless USB adapter is working, we need it enabled. To do this, run the command aeromon ng start VLAN 0. If all goes well, the screen will scroll by with some information which will say enabled on mon0. Finding a WPS enabled router is the next step. This used to be hard to do until the wash command come along. Before the wash command, every router would have to be found and then tested to see if WPS was enabled. The wash command has been notorious for having problems and not working correctly. Basically the wash command goes out and tells you if the router has WPS enabled. So you don't waste your time running river. A fix has been found by creating a directory then running a wash command. First make a directory like this. mkdir etc river. Then run the wash command wash i mon 0 c that is capital c copy the bss id to paste it when needed later then press ctrl plus c to stop the terminal window using wireless usb adapter if nothing comes up then no wps enabled router is within reach 
run the aero dump ng mon zero to see all access point within your reach now we can get to using reviewer be sure the terminal window running the wash command is not actively using wireless usb adapter by pressing ctrl plus c inside of it can copy and paste the bss id in second terminal window run the command river i mon zero b target bss id and vv vv in lower case river should start to run river will now run and start a brute force attack against the pin number of the router it will run until it finds the wireless password usually it takes 2 to 10 hours This is how it looks when the password is cracked. WPS pin, WPA password and access point SSID. So that's all in reward. Try it by yourself and let me know what result you got. Thank you for watching this video.